everyone, I'm skills editor Zoe Gates, and today I'm going to talk about how to sling and swath a shoulder or arm injury. Unfortunately, accidents do happen in the backcountry, so it's important to have the first aid knowledge that you need to keep everyone in your group safe. We do recommend that you take a wilderness first aid course if you're going to head out into the backcountry, and you can take our online wilderness first aid basics course at aimadventureu.com. So I'm going to have David join me to demonstrate. Hi, David. Hello. So a sling and swath is used for a shoulder, collarbone, upper arm, elbow, or lower arm injury. If you suspect that your patient might have a fracture, then you should splint the injury. This video is not going to cover splinting, but you can take a look at the links below or on our Wilderness First Aid Basics course to learn more about splinting and fractures and recognizing those sorts of injuries. So David today unfortunately has a hurt right shoulder. So the first thing I'm going to do is reach into my first aid kit here. And pull out a triangle bandage. Triangle bandages, which come in most uh, backcountry first aid kits like this one, are really great for slinging. Um, but sometimes you might not have one on hand. And you can improvise with a bandana or a shirt, a rain jacket, whatever you might have in your pack. First thing I'm going to do is unfold my triangle bandage. And I'm going to take the corner opposite the long end and tie a simple overhand knot in it. This knot is going to create a nice little cup to hold David's elbow. So I'm going to ask David to hold his arm in a neutral and comfortable position so his elbow is at a right angle. Now I'm going to take that knot that I just tied and cut David's elbow. Since his other arm is working fine, I can ask him to grab this corner for me and toss it over his shoulder. So the two corners that you're working with, one is going to go over the chest and across the shoulder that is opposite of the injury. The other is going to go directly over the shoulder above the injury on the same side. So now maybe we want to turn around. So after you've done that, you're going to tie a knot behind the neck and make sure that it's nice and snug. Now I'll turn you back around. So you want to make sure that the elbow is immobilized. David, can you move your arm up and down at all? No. Nope. So the arm is now immobilized at the elbow, but you can see that David's arm can still move away from his body. So the sling is done, but now we need to construct the second part, which is the swath. So since my first aid kit only had one triangle bandage, I'm going to use my raincoat for the swath. So I'm going to make a nice long piece that can wrap completely around David's body. And I'm going to ask him with his good hand to hold that in place for me. So when we're tying the swath in the back, we want to make sure that it's nice and secure so it's going to immobilize his arm in place, but that it's still going to be comfortable. All right, so now we're going to check that the arm is completely immobilized. David, if we were to hike out right now, is your injured arm or shoulder going to be bouncing around at all? Nope, can't move Perfect. at all. Perfect. Is it comfortable? It is comfortable. Great. The last step we're going to do, because that knot on the back of David's neck where the sling is might get a little uncomfortable, we're going to pat it with a bandana or whatever else you might have on hand. That feel comfortable? Feels great. Great. <laughs> Remember, if you're heading out into the backcountry, we do recommend that you take a wilderness first aid course, and you can learn more about our online course in the links below.